In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how the Elementor price list widget works, some demos of what you can do with it, all of its settings and all that, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what is going on? My name is Bjorn. If you like WordPress tips and tricks and always getting better at it, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And this video is part of the Elementor Pro playlist in this channel link in the description down below or part of the comments down below. Make sure you check out the whole playlist to see all the widgets in action. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you get on the Elementor Pro Ultimate Course waitlist, which I'm building right now. I'm still in the process of building it. It's not completed yet. Getting on the waitlist is no obligation. But if you do like Elementor and you want to know how to do everything with it, get on that waitlist. Link in the description down below. And with that out of the way, let's hit the screen capture. I'll see you there. I'm going to call this price list. Boom, go to the grid icon, find the price list widget right here, drag and drop it over, and we have a snazzy little price list. It looks pretty plain Jane to begin with, but we can customize it quite a bit by adding images and things like that. Under the first item, I'm gonna leave the price as it is, and I'm just gonna add an image to it. I found some stock images online of fruit, so I'm gonna add some fruit here. It's gonna upload them all at once. I'm gonna select the strawberry, Click on insert media, and now we have our strawberry beside our item title, price, and description. We can add a link to it as well. If this was linked to a certain place in the site, maybe this is a pottery website and you have a specific sales page for certain types of product pottery, you can link to it from here. As far as customizing the actual item information itself, this is about as far as it goes. It's gonna change this to strawberry, strawberries. And then I'm just going to add some images for the next ones, and then we'll do some more settings. So now we have strawberries, apples, and peaches. If we go over to style, we can choose various things. So for the title, let's change the color to black. It's a little dark, dark gray. For the color, typography, I'm going to change it to open sans, because that's just what I do. Size, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for the titles. The description, I'm going to keep them, now I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. There we go. The separator, which is these dots right here. Currently it's dotted. You can have it be solid, dashed, double. I don't see what the double is doing, but I assume it's supposed to be a double line. Then we can change the space between the double or the weight. Oh, I change the weight of the double and then it, you can see the double line then. I'm going to keep mine as dashed and we're going to make the weight small. A little heavier. A two, keep the color, make the color a little lighter actually. There we go. Spacing is how far it is from the word strawberries and the dollar amount on the right. For the image style, we can style our image a little bit. Let's choose medium to have them a little bit bigger. For the spacing, that's the space between the image and the words. You can adjust that. Border radius, just to give it a pixel border radius of five you can see the corners are a little bit rounded now i'm going to make mine circles so let's give it a percent of 50. when i say circles i mean ovals because those are not square images if these were square images it would be a circle but these are rectangular so they're ovals item style row gap is how much space there is between the rows and vertical align is the actual text in relation to the image so right now it's at the bottom here it's at the top and here it's at the center. So I'm gonna keep mine in the center and I'm going to create another column. So I'm gonna add new column by right clicking up there. I'm gonna copy this and paste it over here. I'm gonna change this to oranges and then change the second one to limes, change the third one to cherries. And now we have actually a pretty good looking little pricing list. You can change the gap between the columns by going to the settings, columns gap, you can have no gap, narrow, extended, wide, wider, those are very, very descriptive and no gap there, smushed right together. Put mine to wider. I like the wider one. If you want to stretch this section and make it full width to give it even more space, that actually is quite a bit nicer with more space. 
I'm pretty happy with how this turned out so far. You'll notice that the peaches here are further down than the cherries. And that is because the images are different. So if these images were all the same dimensions before we uploaded them, then this would all be the same height. But the images on the right hand side appear to be a little bit smaller than the images on the left. And so if they were the same, then this spacing would not be an issue. I can prove that to you by just copying and pasting this thing over here again. So now we have them the, the exact same height. The peaches and the, the apples and the strawberries are all the same height because they're all the same image size. Let's just delete that section again. So make sure all your images are the same dimensions before you upload them. And then you won't have the issue I'm currently having here. But we have a pretty good looking pricing table here, ready to go. And then make sure you save your work. Don't lose your work, so make sure you save it. That's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And also consider buying Elementor through the affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you any more to purchase it that way, but Elementor does send me a few dollars commission, which helps me keep these glorious lights on. And if you do purchase through there, thank you very much. And next up was clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.